Lauren. Summer is in full swing and so for today's video I thought that I would show you a few summer DIYs which include this tank top, crop top, swimsuit cover up, shirt thing. These, <laughs> I really like these, donut sunglasses and a copy of the Sonic Ocean Water which if you're not from this area that I'm in. I don't think there's Sonics like up north, but uh, in Oklahoma it's huge. And they have a staple drink called the Ocean Water because it's blue and tastes really good and summery. Enough of me chatting, let's get onto this video and do some DIYs. Starting with the crop top, what you will need is an old t-shirt, a ruler, a pair of scissors, and a Sharpie. Start off by laying your shirt flat on a surface and you could also slip a piece of cardboard in between the front and the back, but I really didn't do that. Next you're going to measure out from the highest point of the shirt all the way down 19 inches. And I know it's a really random number, but just go with me, it works, okay. Put a dot where 19 inches would be and then use the ruler as a straight edge and mark dots all the way across, like so. Now you're going to flip your shirt over and do the exact same thing to the back side. So start at the highest point of the shirt, measure all the way down 19 inches, put a dot, and then draw dots all the way across. When you're done with that, flip the shirt back over so that the front side is facing up. And now you're going to measure out to cut the sleeves. This part is optional, but I decided that I really wanted to make a tank top today. So I'm going to start out by measuring two inches from the opening of the neck, drawing a dot, and then I'm going to take my roller and angle it down to the armpit of the shirt and drawing dots all the way down. It's like one big connect the dots game. Then you're going to do the exact same thing to the other sleeve. When you're done drawing the dots on the front, it's time to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the back. So again, it's two inches out of the opening, dots all the way to the armpits, and the same to the other sleeve. Okay, now flip that bad boy over and it's time to cut it up! Start by cutting a slit up the side of the shirt, and then you're just going to cut all the way across. Don't worry about the lines being perfectly straight here because you're going to kind of mess them up later. Then you're going to have this little flap, so just cut up the side and BAM! It's gone! Alright, now flip the shirt over and do the exact same thing. Like I said, don't worry too much about having the lines be perfectly straight because you're going to mess them up in just a minute. Okay, flip the shirt back over and it's time to cut up the sleeves. Start by making a tiny incision at the top of the shirt. Incision? I've been watching way too much Grey's Anatomy. All right, now cut all the way on the front of the shirt down to the armpit, just following the dots. Then flip the shirt back over, and you're going to do the same thing to the back side. All right, flip the shirt over and start by doing the same thing to the other sleeve. So make a tiny incision and follow the dots all the way down the armpit. And wow, that's a great shoulder, Lauren. Thank you for blocking the camera. Then you're going to flip it over and do the exact same thing to the back. This is kind of what it should look like. It doesn't have to be perfect because if Hannah Montana taught us anything, it's that nobody is. Now start making little slits up the shirt all the way across. And again, they don't have to be perfect, but try to get them as even as possible. Once you're done, you're going to pull gently, and I do mean gently because I just ripped one out. So gently pull, stretching the strings, and you can stop here if you want, but I wanted to go a little bit further. This part is where it gets a little bit more complicated, and it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. You're going to start by taking the outside string, skip a string, and tie a knot. Then you're going to take the string that you skip, skip another string, and then tie a knot. Make sure it's a double knot, too. And I'm really great at blocking the camera. Again, it sounds way more complicated than it actually is. Um, it's totally optional. I think the fringy look is just as cute, but I wanted to challenge myself today, so I'm going to start by doing that all the way across, like so. Once I was done with the front, I flipped it over and did the exact same thing to the back. When you're all finished, your shirt should look kind of like this. I think it's super cute and perfect for the summer. 
For your donut sunglasses, you're going to need brown sunglasses, brown nail polish, a lavender nail polish, and then all the other colors that you're going to use for the sprinkles. I'm going to start off by using this brownish grayish nail polish as the base and I'm going to paint around the entire rim of the sunglasses. This is going to look kind of like the dough part of the donut. Once you're done with the base coat, it's time to frost your donuts with a pale pink or lavender color. You're just going to paint the rims, leaving a little bit of donut to peek through. Once you're done with that, it's now time to put on the sprinkles, and I'm just taking a bunch of random colors and putting little dots on the glasses. This is the finished product. Doesn't look exactly like a donut, but I still think they're super cute and summery. For the ocean water, you'll need three cups of Sprite, blue food coloring, a teaspoon of coconut extract, two tablespoons of water, and three tablespoons of sugar. Start by combining the two tablespoons of water and the three tablespoons of sugar in a microwave full safe bowl. Microwave them for about 30 seconds or until the sugar is dissolved. Once it's dissolved, pour it into a punch bowl, which I just have a mixing bowl because hashtag no life. Then you're going to pour in your Sprite, your teaspoon of coconut, and my personal favorite, the blue food coloring. Then you're just going to combine that until it's all mixed together. This is what it should look like when you are done, and that is all of our summer DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. My tongue is probably really blue from all the ocean water that I've drank, but uh, I hope you're having a great summer. Have you gone anywhere? Are you going anywhere? Let me know, comment down below, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. <laughs> Bye!